welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Layla I do beauty and fashion videos if you're new here please click the subscribe button below I upload every Sunday and Wednesday so today's video is gonna be all about my newest tattoo and um, I always do this I always wear the wrong outfit to actually show you guys what it looks like but I'm gonna actually be changing later on in this video so I can actually show it to you but I basically got my boyfriend's name tattooed on my chest Yes, I know, I know. Um, I'll let the judgment begin. Okay, so why did I decide to get this tattoo? So I thought about it for a couple weeks and I got it for our 17th monthsary. I just, for placement, I wanted it on my chest because it's close to my heart, I know. And um, like, I have a collarbone tattoo on my one side and I, thought it was just kind of lonely sitting there by itself so I wanted something to like kind of compliment it a little bit and um so yeah this turned out way bigger than I expected it to be but my tattoo artist suggested I go a little bit bigger so the ink didn't bleed so I decided that I wanted to go with like an italicized font something a little bit more fancier than you know your average font so um yeah it, as far as pain goes, it didn't really hurt more than my collarbone tattoo. It was pretty much the same, about like a 2 out of 10. Some parts obviously hurt more than others, but as far as everyone's reaction when I did get this tattoo, so my boyfriend was a little bit shocked because I didn't tell him that I was getting his name tattooed on me, obviously. I said I was going to the tattoo shop to get something that represented our relationship. So I was gonna actually just get Roman numerals, but then I thought that was kind of boring and I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting. So yeah, he was actually a little bit shocked and a little bit surprised, but um, he did ask me what would happen if we would if we broke up or something and I just told him you know I would just say it's like my uncle's name and like the date he died or something like that I don't know it's not really that big of a deal for me my family and stuff has been pretty supportive over it they really like it my boyfriend's mom actually really liked it when she saw it and like my coworkers and stuff haven't actually seen it in real life but they've seen it online so as far as like my best friend and stuff she really actually doesn't like this tattoo she thinks that the roman numerals are very not correct because she's like they're not supposed to be italicized they're supposed to be just straight out roman numerals but i don't agree with that i mean i really like the font so that's pretty much that i'm just gonna change and i can actually show you guys my tattoo now it's all about me in the purple today right Ha! April Fools! April Fools slash March Fools because So if I had you guys going this whole entire video so far, please leave a comment saying, Oh my god, I can't believe you did that. And if you didn't believe me this whole time you knew I was pranking you, please leave a comment saying, I love your new tattoo. So I did this prank last April Fools Day and I wanted to upload this video a little bit before April Fools Day this year, not just to prank you guys. So I wanted to tell you guys this kind of... So this is kind of like a tutorial, I guess, on how I did this prank and how I pulled it off. I pranked everyone. I'm just talking about my family members, my friends, my co-workers, my boyfriend. I just did this prank to prank my boyfriend, but I pranked everyone. So the day before April 1st, so on March 31st, I posted a status on Facebook checking into a local tattoo shop and I had mentioned that I was getting a tattoo done. I told my boyfriend that I was getting something symbolizing our relationship just kind of happened <laughs> so yeah i checked into a local tattoo shop the night before and everybody was liking my status everybody was commenting like oh my god i want to see what your new tattoo is going to be and everything like that and the next morning i posted my selfie with my tattoo on my chest and like i didn't get very many likes i think people were a little bit shocked um, and then I started getting like likes and comments and stuff like that. His mom actually said, I really like your new tattoo. And I was like, are you serious? What? <laughs> My aunt even commented on it and she said, I really like your new tattoo. And I was like, wait, what? I'm pranking like everyone. And my best friend, my best friend was fuming mad and I told her to meet me at Tim Hortons so I could show her my new tattoo in real life. And she believed me. She like told her mom how crazy I was for doing this and 
I totally pranked her too. So how I came up with this idea. I haven't actually seen this prank pulled on anyone yet. So basically, when you talk to people on Skype and they send you pictures, it saves into your download folder, your like temporary files folder. And my boyfriend, like a few months previous to this, had actually sent me a Photoshop picture of him with tattoos because he has no tattoos. I kind of forgot about it and I was cleaning out my download folder and I saw it and I was like, hey, what if I did this and pranked him? So I called up one of my friends who's really good at Photoshopping and she actually Photoshopped this for me. She had given me some tips when she did send me the picture. She said to go on Instagram and edit it, um, make sure I focus. To make it more realistic, um, I used like this focus feature on Instagram on the editing app, focus on my face and kind of blur out my tattoo area. Kind of like I took a picture with a really nice camera and just focused on my face, so it was a little bit blurred out, but not really. And um, that's basically how I made it realistic. Like I checked into a tattoo shop on Facebook, I posted the picture the day before, and everyone was just like reacting to it. And oh my God, I can't believe I pranked so many people because I honestly didn't even mean to do that. I just wanted to prank one person and it totally worked. He like freaked out and um, I wished I had gotten his reaction, but he, we were talking on Skype that night and um, that's when I showed him my fake tattoo. So I really did wish I had recorded his reaction because it was so hilarious and I mean I pranked everyone I didn't really expect that and, and I don't think that I can come up with a prank this good this April Fool's Day I'll have to see but I have no plans thus far and it's already the middle of March so I really have no idea what I'm going to do but so if you guys want to do this prank please let me know how it goes because I love to know and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone. Don't forget to subscribe.